the gristle in London's late night party meet. This is Screensaver, the show that goes out so you can stay in. On stage right now, we've got the unsurpassably elating Family Alain. And then leading your journey back from Eastern Europe and across the northern slopes of England, we have right here with me, Sheffield three-piece Bloodsport. Hello, Bloodsport. And out of Bloodsport, topping off our show and sending us on our summary screensaver hiatus, we will have the six semi-naked soothsayers of Super Best Friends Club. Super Best Friends Club, there'll be more of them and they will be wearing less. Screensaver brings you totally tropical entertainments for nighttime. I can tell you're ready, so let's get started.
毎日の日々の錬磨を重ねてくれます横目を打ってきますペッとこう変われればいいペッとこうやって歩けばそれ即武道ということですね痛いんですけどちょっとこうやってちょっとこの手を持ったら離しちゃいいんですがね<笑>なかなか離れないですね<笑>人間ですよで大体合気道はですねあのこのこのうつ伏せに倒すんですこれをこう見てると当たっちゃうんです<笑>こんな人にねえと思ってこうやってるから<笑>、ね、あっこれ見ないでえっ<笑>ありがとうございます。I did a performance earlier as a security guard from an immigration removal center who paints himself silver in order to disembody himself. And I performed it in the RA. And it went quite well, but I got self conscious and I regretted the way that I performed his working class identity. Okay, let's ask you some questions on a, on a less highbrow note.、Um, let's talk about Glastonbury, which is on this weekend. Can you name any of the three headlining acts in Glastonbury? Jay Diller. No. Mogwai. No. The Flaxons. Okay, okay, let's, let's make this easier. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to decide、uh, some more quick fire questions. These are festival items and you can only choose one、uh, flip flops or wellies? Horn. <laughs> good work, good work. Set of shoes, right?、Um, speakers or headphone splitter? Speakers. Red Bull or toothbrush? Toothbrush. Lip balm or face wipes? Face wipes. Torch or toilet paper? Toilet paper. And that's all we've got time for right now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yo, 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 yo. So our next、so、band tonight、so、is all the way from Sheffield, and that is Bloodsport. They're amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing. Yes, yes, exactly. exactly. They're, 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 they're one of Total Refreshment's favorites. And they've got a record out. They've got a beautiful space in, in, in Sheffield called the Audacious Art Experiment, which is 
more or less something like this with recording studio, studio rehearsal studios, studios and, studio, and venue and all that kind of stuff. They've got some records here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Blood Spot! Blood Spot!
If you lift the lid of a computer, you will see a circuit board into which a number of little boxes have been plugged. Each box contains a chip, which consists of thousands of microscopic electric circuits, each of which can be either on or off. This is the only language that the computer understands. Is one of my circuits on or off? A sequence of several ons and offs in various combinations can represent any number or letter or graphic symbol. And we can symbolize these ons and offs by using a one to stand for on and a zero to stand for off. Most computers can represent any of the symbols on their keyboards by various combinations for a total of exactly eight ones and zeros. Since this language or code is based on two digits, one or zero, just as a bicycle is based on two wheels, or a biplane is based on two pairs of wings, it is called the binary code, from the Latin word binarius, meaning two together. And each of the ones and zeros is called a binary digit, or bit, for short. So it takes eight bits to represent any keyboard character. Such a group of eight bits is called a byte. One byte is the equivalent of one character. This computer can store or remember roughly 32,000 bytes. That means you can feed a program into it that uses up to 32,000 characters, letters, numbers, or graphic symbols. Just as a kilometer is a thousand meters and a kilogram is a thousand grams, so is a kilobyte roughly a thousand bytes. This computer, therefore, has a 32 kilobyte memory, or a 32K memory for short. But the memory of most small personal computers can be extended to at least double that, 64K. This may sound a lot, but it isn't. The average page of a book contains about 2,000 characters. It's a 2K page. So, so even a 64K computer can only store as many characters as a 32-page book. And a 32K computer only as many as a 16-page book. Although, of course, a computer can do a lot more with its characters than a book can. But that's another story letters, numbers, or graphic symbols. Thousands of microscopic electric circuits, each of which can be either on or off. This is the only language that the computer understands. Is one of my circuits on or off? Although, of course, a computer can do a lot more with its characters than a book can. But that's another story. to have been there to witness blood sport making everyone hot. I think it's partly because something really happens when you guys are on stage. I think you're really bringing everyone into this sort of collective state. I hope so. That's, yeah, I, 
that's the ultimate aim. It's it's not music for sort of bros in muted hoodies to nod their heads to. You know, it's supposed to be a dance music experience. We are we would like to consider ourselves a dance music band. And we want to get that kind of you know, cult like reckless abandon. Cult like. Cult like. Yes, much better. Cult like is yesterday. Are you, when you're doing that, are you also bringing about a sort of change in state in yourselves as well? Well, I felt really ill earlier and now I feel great. <laughs> so yeah. Yes. And I can't, I can't speak in, apart from ones like that, I can't speak into a microphone unless there's music behind me. So I'm really, really, really stage shy without, if we're not playing. You don't do very much speaking into the microphone. I can't. It's really freaks me out. Is that why you have those effects? Just like cows away and yeah. Yeah. something and then... Yeah, the, the effects were away and getting around. Yeah. Can you have brought this? This is a, a drum machine. Um, Sam, how does that make you feel? What's with the drum machine and this Picasso guitar? Well, uh, it's kind of like uh, me and Alex. Uh, uh, me and Alex. Uh, <laughs> We worked on this project last year called the Human Drum Machine Orchestra where it was basically uh, doing drum machine covers uh, as a nine per, uh, person kind of ensemble. So each person... Drum machine covers? Yeah. Like, wow, so, that, I mean that... Without, without any drums. So, but with, yeah. but with my fish That's notes, so so metal. recreating the components of the drum machine and it's just like, we, I've kind of, I think, just, that's just seeped into my way of playing where I'm just like, oh, hold on, hold on. Well, let's... Let's delve a little deeper into your personalities with a personality test round. Quick decisions, no thinking. Leftover pizza, hot or cold? Cold. Family time or Facebook time? <laughs> no, uh, family time. <laughs> top notch or top shelf? Top what or top shelf? Top notch. Top notch. Top notch. Yeah. <laughs> Real or fake? Fake. <laughs> How much porn oh, is wait. too much porn? Uh, eel porn. Did you ever want to be a mermaid? We did have plans. Oh, well, maybe I had a plan for a music video where I was going to be a mermaid. I don't think I told it to those. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. And it was going to be like we're going to get all the local children to like have hose pipes in the in the side, and I was going to be slowly rotating. And then you realised that, that was really eel wrong, porn, isn't it? But yeah. that not you know just exactly like what it is. But yeah, just I, yeah, I, I you know I'd like to be a mermaid. Yeah, great. Okay, because I, I I think I always really wanted to be a mermaid. I used to wrap myself in my quilt and then you know pretend I was one. Okay, if you had to together pop someone off, how would you do it? This is the last question. Together, if we had to off, kill someone together. Yeah. Um, we were actually just uh, learning about uh, Japanese urban legends on the way here, in which uh, any number of phantoms uh, from the past uh, kind of crop up and offer their victims like just unanswerable questions, uh, which whatever the answer they give, they'll be scythed in half. So, so we kind of push them in the direction of one of these urban legends and let fate take its course. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's so hands off. I like that. Fantastic. Blood Sport, I love you. I'm going to give you a personality test score of 432. Thank you very much. I request that the noble daughters of Prince Leviathan, controllers of the darkest parts of this world, to release him to me. <laughs> The prison! <laughs> this is Screensaver, that was Bloodsport. They got us really hot. I'm hoping that Alexi, godfather of the Total Refreshment Center, is gonna help us chill out a little bit. Alexi, who are you with? I'm with William. He's uh, 
William is uh, one of the forefathers of Total Refreshment. We, uh, yeah, he was there since the beginning. Forefathers? Yeah, forefather, my friend. Well, you were from the beginning. Yeah. You helped build these walls. Okay. You helped build okay, this. Okay, yeah, this... I remember, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I can find my blood. He's very good. Like, he, 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 I found him in the street two years ago. And, uh, no. <laughs> am, I, am I sensing a fellow Frenchman? He's from Belgium, actually. He's from Belgium. Which is kind of the same. We, we speak the same language, no, more or less. Football, we're just better at football, but apart from that, we kind of do the same Miss language. the football today, don't tell me what happened. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, I understand that Total Refreshment expanded recently. It has, yes. Well, basically, we've, uh, we've just had access to our, uh, the ground floor, which is really uh, spacious and nice, and uh, we've just uh, had a chance to try things out, basically, because it was a, a market for a while that was really boring, so we, they just moved all that away, and now we've done a skate park, a DIY skate park, because... Um, because we just thought it would be a nice thing. There's no indoor skate park in the area, and uh, it's just really nice to have the kids from the area come and, and, and jump from like super high and and do loads of tricks and things. How high have you got? I mean, what have you got? Actually, Half pint? If I can get a video up on this, there's this kid, uh, he's called Little Ed. He's incredible. He's this little 11 year old, he's quite fat and stuff, but he will just jump from anything. He will fall and fall and fall over and over again, and he will try again. Don't worry, it's all health and safety is all. Oh, yeah, no, we've all secure. Actually, we've got this. Dad actually uh, holding the thing from for him. He was like, "Yeah, jump from this really high thing." This so I don't know if we can, if we can get right this. Uh, How old going is this kid? On. Is this gonna be on the camera? Yeah, this Here we go. Here's a little ad for you. He's, he, yeah, it's. Just, I mean, if his dad wasn't there, we don't have let him do it. But he, he had like all the safety gear, you know. We're very into our health and safety. Uh, stuff now, well, just anyway, skateboarding, right. Is he any good? How good is he? I can't see. Can you do it, anyway? Was he any good? He's good, he's really good, actually, yeah. He's got the... Uh, it sounds like a sort of a community space, is it? Some sort of challenge. That's what we're trying to do. Like, so far, we've, we've just been trying to have as much things going on, and we'd love to have, uh, yeah, lots of stuff for the people, for the, the local people, basically. We've had theatre, free theatre. We've had a uh, free gig today, actually, downstairs. Um, and uh, and uh, the skate park for the last two days with music and stuff, and so... Wow, and where does it, where does it end? Do you kind of... I don't want it to end. I, don't, I try not to think about the word end with this. Uh, but um, open ending, let's say. But yeah, eventually, like, we'd like to have uh, this whole place being a hub for people who make music, film music, uh, listen to music, just have a, a place for creative people to, to collaborate and... Um, and make it their home, basically, which is almost what the, the case is with, like, with people like Super Freshman's Club and things like that. Um, but before that, yes, I think we're we, going to see a little video. Absolutely. So this has been shot a few months back with uh, where this guy called Andrea Kuyus, who's got a company called Nocte, which does uh, light installations where we react with music. They kind of like uh, light sculptures and things. So we had this show, and then uh, we had D810, um, the band that uh, Dan Levers from Soccer 96 is in, and um, they played a gig in uh, London. So we just invited them to collaborate together. and. Uh, uh, and so it happened, and uh, we, had, we, we had my friend Alfie shot and edited it and did uh, the, the whole camera work from Thanks, start to finish. Alfie. Let's uh, yeah, let's big up Alfie. Stuff. Yes, let's do it. DA10.
want to all the time. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable in myself. I just want to be warm, dry, under the covers, undiscovered on the phone to my mother saying, Mother, mother, I feel unstable. And you see, I'm small and vulnerable. Now could you could give me money for my time You could give me money in my time for my time But listen honey, life it isn't simple on my heart It isn't able to be put up on a table to be beaten Where a sense of efficiency is reached Where a sense of efficiency is reached Where a sense of control that I could never dream of Time, taking a minute, taking a minute We can take a little time Down in Portugal, a peace, community, a sensibility A permaculture, my heart, my heart, you They bust my heart, so part of you They bust my heart, part of you Bust my heart, so part of you So I put on my shoes, I'll step outside, I'll step outside, now go and join them. I would do everything else, I don't make time for myself. If I could just open up my arms, 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 if I could just
watch it and parties in the bedroom getting naked, taking things too seriously. Take a little coffee, try to relax, try to relax. And I'm done with the feeling I didn't do enough this week.
Thank you very much. Good people. So, I've been doing some work with some storytellers. This, this Nordic guy, and he told his story. It was all about nature and about abusing nature. And then one of the other people started telling the audience about how it was important not to abuse nature. He was like, no, 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 no. This is just a story. This is just a story. So this is just a story. This is just a story. We have one more song. It's a bit of a slow song. So you can um, find your lovers or your mothers or your siblings or your mirrors. This is actually a cover of a tune. Change your heart. Look around you. Change your heart. It will astound you. I need your love in. Like the sunshine. And I need your love in. Like the sunshine. And everybody's gotta learn something. And everybody's gotta learn sometimes And everybody's gotta learn sometimes Here we go Like the 
Thank you very much, the Super Best Friends Club. Thank you to the good people coming down. We'll do one more song. Okay. This is for everybody in the building and outside the building. the show. All the good people came out tonight. All the good people stayed at home tonight. All the right people, all the wrong people. And this is for all those things that come in between us. I can see myself on the TV. I can see myself on the TV. This is for all those things we do, don't do, should have not done or should have done. All myself I once not was and all the good people, all the good people to bring in. Now we can join in together if you want to join in together or you can join in on your own or anyway, or anyway. Nigeria, vegetables of Brazil, 
Thank you everybody on the sound, in the TVs, in the vans, in the bodies. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Say you can do. Thank you very much. Say you can do. Thank you very much. Say the air in the air. Thank you very much. Say Cuba. Say I Brazil. Thank you everybody on the sound, in the TVs, in the bands, in the bodies. I think the people would like to know uh, where, where from in the United States you come from. Way back up in old Kentucky. About what section? Well, it's uh, more east, I guess. Do they have any coal mining up in there? Oh, yeah. That's about all they are up in that country. It's coal mines, strip mines, and well, deep mining. What kind of work do you do up in there? I work construction work, build bridges, highway bridges. And you just play your music uh, sometimes, or? Uh, maybe once a month, or every two, three months, I'll play a tune. Was it that way when you started? Well, sometimes I'd play a little oftener than that. Of course, I played the square dances a lot. That's mostly where I got started. We'd have a square dance maybe every weekend. I'd have to play a little for them. Mm-hmm. Well, what do some of your neighbors think of, uh, of this kind of music that you're playing? Well, this is the only kind of music they, that they ever know anything about until this old rock and roll come out. And then they just, they just about all fell for hip for quite a while. But they're getting off of it now. They're coming back to the old. Well, what do they think of you coming out and playing like this? Well, 
some some think it's all right and some don't. Yeah. You know how they are. Yeah. Well, how about playing us a good banjo tune here? I'll play one of them old frolicking tunes, one we used to dance after a lot. Called a hook and line. Oh, I have such fears. The mic business was going bonkers. Mic business was going bonkers, and, and oh my god! Did, well, there you go. This things happen sometimes, man. It's show business, right? It's, it's show business. It's show business. Right? It's just show business. So let's not let's make a not make a big deal out of it. We're not going to start again. No, we are going to start again. We're, no, we're, not, again. we're not starting again. We're, we're, we're literally this is a continuation. This is called. This is called. Why do so many people think a talking scarecrow is any stranger than Judy Garland? When they first beheld our confusion, when they first saw us as we are, when they first observed our quixotic violence, our savage loneliness, our merciless claims on one another, all they could think was, who would do this? What deity would create such a roiling, cannibal mess? What absurd, cruel, perverse asshole would create or enact or even begin to plan this? Thought the people of Oz when suddenly transported to Kansas. You know you've had it good when you've had it been done to you by a super best friends club. I'm here with them now. Guys! I know it's very hot in here, but you always take your tops off. Would it be safe to say that some of your appeal lies in the sort of naked eroticism? Yes. Do you think it's mostly men that respond to that? I think so. Yeah, I think primarily. I agree. I, agree. I think men do. Yes. There's groups of really happy women at either side of the stage, <laughs> and then there's groups of like really spectacularly newly liberated men in the middle of the stage. So I think we're sort of finding our purpose as a band, which is something about men <laughs> sort of going through their personal history again, naked, while the women stand to either side of them. Wow, so there's a personal history thing going on. I've actually been quite interested tonight in seeing how all of the bands have sort of stirred up this like tribal, like an instinctive energy somehow. Do you think, is tribal a word that you guys like to refer to yourselves as? Do you think that relates to your sound at all? Probably. This great look of pensiveness. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, I think 
I drew once uh, a picture for a, a sort of like EP CD of Super Best Friends Club and that was the first thing that came to my mind was the jungle and the tiger and a horse and sort of scene, a battle scene and so maybe yeah, tribal, jungly is appropriate. Jungle, jungle, jungle. jungly. Jungly. Yeah. Jungly. Jungly. Jungly band. Well, when you came off stage, you all looked like you'd been trekking in the Amazon. Somebody actually said to, uh, to me, my, my elbows are sweating, which I think kind of sums it up nicely. Is there also a conflict when you're writing songs? Is there a conflict between wanting to do something that's quite primal with wanting to do something that's like not been done before? Can you do both of those things? I don't think we aim to do either of those things. We just try and like write tunes like a uh, can. <laughs> we just try and do cra uh, craft work covers, basically. Um, and they come out wrong. I can't believe you. It's not really true. <laughs> it's not really true. I don't, we don't think about trying to do new things or trying. To be honest, most of the things I write are just things that sound like a band that I like. Really? Then, like which band? Byers or. Slugmouse Kuban or Steven Spicker, what was the name of that band? Edge Booker. Wagner. Like Wagner, I feel like Wagner. What is it about the stuff that you like? I mean, when you listen to music and you like it, or if you listen to music and you don't like it, is it sort of consistently the same sort of thing that triggers that response? I think we're all different. I think we all have very different musical tastes. Um, I think I like music that's really, really open. Open eyed. That's a much better answer. <laughs> open eyed. What are you going to say? Yeah, open eyed is better. Open. I hate music that's too open eyed. It's really open eyed. I like a lot of cynicism in my music. Uh, so you're, you play you play bass in the band? I do. I play the bass. I have the natural energy in the band. Do you think there's enough of your personality that plays out in the music of the band? I think so. Uh, I think without me, the music would definitely be a lot less cynical, probably. Uh, would you like to answer this question about my musical input in the band? I think it'd be a lot less shapely. I think it'd be like a really lovely Swiss housemaid <laughs> who made a gorgeous apple pie. Yeah. But Jordan brings, he does bring the sexy. He brings the, the beef. Yeah, you know, the beefcake, I like that. Now, I read that you, I think you said somewhere, I don't know where, about yourselves, that you're people who love giving in to the complex beauty of being alive. And I was wondering, do you, can you back that up with any sort of recent examples? Well, we, we, we've never conferred on that phrase before. <laughs> there is a complex beauty, often in performing, where I, I find myself Caught, caught between the sense of there being music to be played and, and then also um, profound, undefinable, expressive connection occurring and being had. And then sometimes the music melts and then it reforms itself. I don't know if that answers your question. I mean, that's pretty much what I thought you were going to say, actually. I'm melting as well. Oh, we've got another one. Come in. We can have multiple questions. Yeah. Oh, oh. OK, let's, let's, let's speed this up a little bit. I've got some lovely personality test questions for the Super Best Friends Club. Let's start with Max. Max. Which is the best for colouring in with? A pencil, felt tip, or crayon? Uh, maybe the pencil. Why? Because it's the most pointy one. You can get very good felt tips nowadays, actually, but I don't want to disagree with you necessarily. Shower or bath? Shower. Any of those things, really. Loofah or loafer? Again, please? I can ask you this because you're friends, so who knows what the answer will be. Loofah or loafer? Loafer. Yeah, great. See, I was worried about that. Okay, do you have a positive relationship to your smartphone? No. <laughs> World Cup or Wimbledon? Oh, God. Oh, no. That's the hardest question. Oh. 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 Yeah, that was World Cup, wasn't it? What's your favorite ice cream? Ice cream. 
good. Okay. Max, have you ever been pooed on by a girl? That's a, that's a fact. <laughs> I actually yeah. didn't mean to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out. <laughs> that's what she said. Um, next question is for James. James, give me a word that's better than lozenge. Uh, Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. That was really good. Um, that's one of our, what you guys talk amongst yourselves because I am going to just get us a special treat. Are you? Yeah. What special treat? That's a special treat on its way. A baby. Okay, guys. Questions. Or are you just riffing? Are you just are you quoting actual songs and melodies, or are you just riffing on them? What kind of responsibility do you feel towards these traditional songs and forms of music? So this being. Episode six, the final episode in Screensaver season one. This is a cake to celebrate our love for each other and also J Dog's birthday. And so I was thinking, I was thinking we could follow on the theme of homoeroticism and maybe have you guys feed each other. It's just so lovely. James, what would you be doing right now if you were at Glastonbury, do you think? Oh, probably hiding in my car so that I don't have to speak to anyone. <laughs> I don't have to put up a tent. Well, I'm pretty miserable. Although I am camping this weekend at a wedding. So, uh, so but that's a bit more civilised than Glastonbury. I kind of thought enough time with Superverse Friends Club would, would change that attitude right around. Uh, they're pretty bad campers, to be honest. They don't tell you. I, I have to. I have a whole note in my iPhone of things to take camp. Oh, it's not gluten free, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't you know? It's not, it, is, it is whole meal, though. Whole meal, that helps. Us, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I have a note in my iPhone about all the, the torch you need, apparently. Uh, you need a sleeping bag. So I, I write it down in my iPhone. It's, it's the, it, the note's been there since, like, the band's inception, basically. And I've just learned, you know, uh, over time what to bring camping, basically. So, uh, it's basically not the rest of Super Best Friends Club. Well, I usually have to fit them in my car somehow, like, you know, 13 elephants in a mini. Uh, and then Max is usually, like, 45 minutes late for me to, like, pick him up. Uh, but after that, uh, we have a great time. And then they say, oh, yes, uh, we're driving to Belgium now so uh, you're gonna have to squash in four in the back or five in the back uh, and then uh, just hold your breath until we get to Belgium and it will be fine. Um, uh, I mean never cross a, a gluten-free dieter diet no, basically. Exactly. Never make a, glute, a non-gluten-free cake. With, uh, yeah, Max, I think to, to finish off this first season of Screensaver, we're thinking about tribalism and it makes me think about the World Cup. Do you think there's some sort of link between football and music that you could talk to us about? Yeah, there are loads of links. So, um, well... I want you to sum this up as like a finishing piece of screensaver season one. Okay, really big. Okay. Well, football is a team sport and uh, music is also a team sport. <laughs> it's so true. As musicians, I got it. I got it. All right. So it's about teamwork and unity, but also about the individual shining. But it's about getting the right balance of, and and that's just about being a person as well and being affectionate to other people, but also being being good yourself. Very good. That's it. Okay, we agree with that. We agree with that. Well, I think that's all for screensaver. My face couldn't get any more moist. I don't think at this stage, but I'm going to try and be affectionate with it. Yeah, if someone, if, uh, I'm not going to do it. No, if, if someone was to lick your face repeatedly, then I thought it could be more moist. We can only hope that that's going to happen. This is Screensaver. Uh, if you're ready for some more musical gristle to be saved from the horrors of easily digestible music, um, meet us meet us at the next season. I don't know when it will be, but we'll be here. Good night.